Ashley says her entire family has turned against her husband, David, but she is fighting back today, starting with her sister, Nikki. Ashley, tell us the story. Um, basically, my sister, Nikki, um, I've known her for not even a year. Her and David have known each other for six years from Massachusetts. And once me and David got together, Nikki totally turns against him. And well, let me just clarify something, because we hear sister and we think the only new or year. Stepsister. There's stepsister. My stepsister. Okay, okay. Um, she totally turned against David the day me and him got together. He left his relationship with his child's mother. And um, me and him have had eyes on each other for three years. Uh, we just got together got together February and everything's been going I mean great with me and David I mean we fight but who doesn't you know Nikki's I guess biggest thing is when he goes out without me and doesn't come home till two or three in the morning and um, the way he treats me I guess and so wait so you are married to this guy I'm I got married October 17th okay and she does not accept him no as your husband no her um, her my mom and my other two sisters I mean they my mom, by herself, didn't want to come to my wedding. The only reason she came was because she loved me. Yeah, you said they ruined your wedding. How did they ruin it? Uh, my mom was sitting behind my back while I was trying to make my vows to my husband and talking to my 11-year-old sister downing my husband behind my back at my wedding. While you were saying your vows? While I was saying my vows. Um, when he was saying his to me, my mom was sitting behind his back saying, yeah, right, and everything else, and making fun of the vows that he made to me. She has never even talked to my husband. She. I mean, so how does that make you feel? Honestly, it make, you know, the biggest thing in my life is I want family acceptance. I want my family to be there for me, but they totally turned against my husband and want nothing to do with and you him. You want to know why? Yeah. Well, your sister's here. Let's hear what she has to say. Nikki, come on out. Hi, Nikki. Hi. Thanks for being here. What do you have to say? Why have you turned against her husband? Because of the way he treats her. He'll go out to the bars until 3, 4 in the morning. He doesn't ask her to go anywhere with him. Um, he constantly, he's out drinking and hanging out with a bunch do of other people. You say he's an alcoholic. I wouldn't say he's an alcoholic. He just likes to drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm, I, I'm, I'm okay. I'm trying to see the difference, but all right. Uh, so, okay, so you just will not accept him? Were you uh, making fun at the wedding as well? No. No, I was, I was there. I was there for her. I mean, I didn't say nothing. I just I stood there with her. And but if you're there for her then, why can't you be there for her now? Because I, I think he, he just needs to change his ways. All right, well, he's here. Let's hear what he has to say about changing his ways. David, come on out. Thank you for being here. What do you have to say? I mean, do you feel the tension that people don't want you around? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, You're not yeah. feeling it from us here today, oh, are no, you? No, okay, no. all um, right. You, you should just be feeling nothing but love from us here in the crowd. No, it, it, comes, it comes more so from just the, the town and city of Waterville. Uh, all, not just our family. Um, yes, uh, we'll admit it's, it is a lot of her family. But it's, it's everywhere now, you know. I, 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 can't even, you know. I can't even walk around the city without being called uh, a skanky whore for crying out loud. You know, I'm a guy. And I get called that. Um, but when it comes right down to it, all I want is a little respect, you know. I mean, I, I do have an alcohol problem. I'm not an alcoholic, but I do drink a lot. <laughs> I know it's the same thing I just said. You have an alcohol problem. You drink a lot, but you're not an alcoholic. Uh, okay. And you say you're, you've actually, you're, you're on the wagon yes. right now. How many days do you clean? Um, not long, about two weeks. Okay. That's a start. Yeah. That's a start. Yeah. So I, ha I have to ask something. Nikki, you're here sort of representing the family that, that doesn't accept him. Is it behavioral or is it the color of his skin? It's not the color of skin at all. That's only with my father. That's only yeah, my that's father only disowned father. me because he is black. He wants nothing to do with my husband. <laughs> Michelle, Michelle, what can you say to this family? I think it's important for you to really get to the bottom of what this is really about. Clearly, if you have a drinking problem, that's a serious concern, and I can understand her family having concerns about that and wanting you to kind of clean up your act. But Nikki, it sounds like 
you might be a little bit too involved in their business. I mean, they're married, they're grown. You have to let them deal with their own things they're to kind of work grown. out some of their problems. She's only 18. I mean, that's that's. that's but young. they're married. I know they are, but but I mean, you know. I think just because you, you, you sign the papers and you say your vows, it doesn't make you a, a grown. Yeah, but, uh, I do think that the husband needs to work on some of the issues. I understand that, you know, you were saying he leaves her alone a lot. I mean, are you, are, do you feel happy with your marriage? Um, most aspects, yes. Um, me and David do fight quite a bit because David takes things very seriously, when, even when I'm just joking with him. So is he, it possible that some of what your family's concerned about is really true and that you should take some of their advice? To a certain extent. Okay. Hmm. And if Nikki, you're, if you're such the expert on, on a, a good boyfriend, where's your boyfriend? <laughs> In jail. Ah!